That's Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord mm -hmm. with all thine heart. Yeah. And lean not to your own understanding. Uh -huh. In all your ways acknowledge him. Yes. And he shall direct your path. Trust God. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Have you ever had a time in your life where you had a situation, or should I say a situation, <laughs> that you just needed some answers to? Yes, sir. Amen. You, you found yourself on your knees and you're praying. You find yourself crawling into your secret place and you're you're praying. You find yourself talking to your pastors and you're praying. Mm -hmm. You're reading your word and you find yourself still praying. Amen. You talk to your friends and your family and you find yourself still praying. Uh -huh. You even cry out to God yes. and the response you get is silence. Mm. Can I be transparent with you today? Come on. Yes. Just want to talk to you. Yes. Yes. About a week ago, a little over a week ago, I had to lay to rest my first cousin. And not only was my first cousin, but he was also the best man at my wedding. And just like anybody else, I began to question God and because it was uh, an unexpected death. Mm -hmm. And I began to ask why. And, and question God. And even during that season, my dad mm -hmm. had to be rushed to the hospital mm -hmm. on top of that. Amen? Yes, amen. Uh, he was losing blood, and they, they couldn't find out where the blood was coming from. So we began to pray, and I, mm -hmm. I talked to my wife, and we prayed. I, I got on my knees, and I prayed. I went into my secret place, and I prayed. I talked to my mom and my sister, and I prayed. But the only answer I got was silence. Uh -huh. Well, the doctors finally found out what was going on, and uh, they had surgery, and they stopped the bleeding. Praise God. But how many of you know that every now and then, every time you, you take a step forward, you, you feel like you get knocked back uh -huh. two steps? <laughs> Amen, somebody. Somebody Amen. feel me. Amen. 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 So we got good news, and the doctor said the surgery went well, and we have stopped the bleeding, and, and life was great. Well, the very next day, things took for a turn, and they said, well, he's losing more blood. And so I, I found myself on my knees again, and I'm praying. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying with my dad, and I'm praying in my secret closet, and and the answer I got was still just silence. So the very next day, there was good news. They, they gave him two or three more pints of blood. And they said that uh, it appeared that the bleeding had stopped. And I was like, great. Then that Thursday, I get a call from my mom. And there's another turn for, for bad. And as I rode to Fayetteville by myself, I, I, I began to pray and I began to question God. And, and I asked him, why, Lord? And I heard him speak to me very clearly. He said, son, he said, do you trust me? All right, ma'am. All right. I said, yes, Lord. Yes, he was. Uh -huh. He said, then why are you worrying? Uh -huh. And so I immediately repented and asked for forgiveness. And right. I went about my daily business. And as I went about my daily business, I got another phone call at the end of the day that said, hey, he's not losing blood. We're just replenishing what he had already lost. He's doing fine. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Trust God. Uh -huh. mm. yes. I asked myself that question. I said, well, if I say that I trust him, then, then, then why am I worrying? All right now, all right. And, and I found out as I sat in prayer that we worry because we feel like we may not get the answer or the results that, we that we're looking for. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, there will be times in your life when God won't reveal the answer to you immediately because the book has been written 
The decision has been made and it will require you to do this. Point number one, trust God uh -huh. with all oh. your heart. Mm -hmm. Trust God. No doubt. With all oh. your heart. <laughs> trust means to have confident expectation. Yes. All means everything. Mm -hmm. We have to have confident expectations that God will make the correct choice mm -hmm. in every part of our lives. Y'all hear that? Yes. In every part of our lives. That means he's concerned not only about the big things, mm -hmm. but he's concerned about the small things too. Sir. Amen? Amen. Yes. Point number two says, lean not to your own understanding. Correct. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear that? Lean not mm -hmm. to your own understanding. Understanding means to grasp the information or the implications or the importance so that you might understand the situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. So what this scripture is telling us is if, if, if we're doing what point number one says, mm, that means that means that there is no way we can make the correct decisions for everything in our lives. Amen. Why? Because God knows everything. Amen. 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 Our ways are not his ways. Correct. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. Right. If we could, we would take the easy way out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If we could, we would never, never stretch our faith. Oh, no. come on, if it were left come up on. to us, we wouldn't build our trust in God. Amen. You, you, you know how we do. Yes. We're going to make some right choices in our life. And when we do, we get what I call the hydrocephalus head. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Which is a big old water head. <laughs> Just because we get a few things right, we think we have all the authority right. to make all the decisions yeah. in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we got to trust God yeah. with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. So, preacher, mm -hmm. how do I just trust God? Say so. Uh -huh. Point number three. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. Now, acknowledge means to admit, to be real or true. Mm -hmm. Recognize the existence and recognize the authority. In other words, we have to admit that God is real and true. Mm -hmm. We have to recognize that he does exist. Mm -hmm. We also have to recognize that he is the authority. Mm -hmm. The authority on every situation the authority on every problem, the authority on every decision. He's the answer to our peace. He's the answer to our healings. He's the answer to all of our problems. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's God, and he's God all by himself. Mm. Mm. Did y'all hear me? Mm. He's God, and God all by himself. Right. Yeah. Point number four says he will direct your path. Yes, he will. Or make your way smooth. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're doing points one through three, God is saying he will make it work out for your good. Mm. That's all right, church. Mm -hmm. What God is saying in this verse is that if you just trust him, trust. if you just trust him, when he reveals the answer, even if it's not what you want to hear, right. he has already prepared you Correct. to receive it. Amen. In other words, he, he's made your way smooth. Amen. 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 And, and I'm so glad so this glad. afternoon yeah. that he's made yeah, our way smooth. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad that Jesus, or should I say that God in his mortal form is Jesus, Amen. had to trust himself in his divine form. Oh, Amen. He had to teach. trust God. Yeah. And I'm so glad this afternoon when they nailed his hands and his feet to the cross, he trusted God. Yes, he did. When they pierced him in his side, yeah. he trusted God. Yeah. Even when he felt like he was all alone. And he said, Father, please don't forsake me. Yeah. Jesus yeah. still trusted God. 
Yes. And because he trusted God, when they put him in that borrowed tomb, yes. God made a trip down yes. and he raised them up with all power yes. in his hands. Yes. And I'm so glad this afternoon yes. that right. all I got to do is trust God. Because when I'm down and out, all I got to do is trust God and he'll pick me back up. Yes.